Make use of your Shandy Carib drinks in more ways than one this Christmas with a Shandy Carib inspired sorrow fruit cake. So I'm going to start off with placing my butter and my brown sugar into my mixing bowl and cream for about an hour. While that's happening, I'm going to prepare my fruits by placing them into a pot, covering it completely with shandy sorrel and putting it onto my stove on medium heat until all the liquid has reduced. While that's going, I'm going to add my eggs to the butter and sugar mixture from earlier, ensuring that they're 100% fully incorporated into the mixture. Now it's time to add my dry ingredients and I'm going to do that in three parts, folding gently to make sure everything is properly incorporated. Then I'm going to fold in all of my fruits. To keep it festive, I decided to bake my cake in a bun pan just because it looks a little more Christmassy and it came out absolutely amazing. So I flipped her onto a plate and it's time to put some decorations on her. So now I'm going to take it a step further and use my Shandy Sorrel to make an icing glaze to drizzle on top of my cake. Now I'm obsessed with the colour, it definitely matches the whole vibe that I have going on here. So now we're going to top her off with some extra dried fruit that I had left back. I thought it looked cute just to kind of have a little garnish and dust some icing sugar and that's it. My shiny carob fruit cake made with shiny carob, the official taste of Christmas.